Hey guys, my name is Derek. Welcome to the channel. And the question I want to ask you today is, do you have mental health issues? And has Pokemon helped you with those mental health issues? I guess the real question would be, why did you start getting yourself into Pokemon as a hobby? Was it because your friends? Was it because of YouTubers? Was it because of the money? Was it because of the collecting aspect? Or was it the games? the movies, you name it. There's a lot of reasons. But the reason I got into it was due to, well, a lot of things. First, a lot of people know of me knows I have severe bipolar depression. I've had uh, several suicide attempts. Um, and I don't want to completely go through that because there's a lot to that. But I just want to go ahead and put that in perspective. And... I can kind of go from there and let you know why Pokemon kind of means a lot to me as a person. And let's go ahead and get started. So a couple years ago, I started watching uh, Max Mofo. Mofo. I, I haven't collected Pokemon cards since I was in middle school. Um, originally, I had all kinds of awesome cards and they got stolen from me. Uh, I remember when it happened, I had a Charizard, and I was super happy because I got it from my brother because I traded a movie promo uh, Mewtwo. I kind of tricked him, and it was kind of karma biting me in the ass. I was like, I'll trade you this for that Charizard because this Mewtwo is worth more than that Charizard, which was wrong. I was being stupid, and I was a dumb kid. And anyways, I had these cards, and one day I left them in my locker, I had the lock on, I came back out to grab my backpack. The locker was open, but the lock still attached, and the cards were gone. So from then on there, I never collected it yet. I played some of the games from time to time. Uh, rather be on the, the DS, uh, the two, 3DS, or uh, now the Switch. Uh, I, I did play those. But originally, Pokemon came to me as actually... It wasn't just the cards, it was the actual game itself. I remember in middle school, you know, I just moved to a new school. Uh, I just got, I had a Game Boy. I had the old style brick Game Boy. And my friend, he had a Game Boy collar and a link cable. And I was, oh, I was, you know, this was new to me. So, you know, on bus trips, the way for me to make friends was through Pokemon. And eventually I bought a, you know, I saved my money up for the whole summer. And I remember because gold and silver was coming out. So I went out and I bought the Atomic Purple Game Boy Collar. And I bought a copy of gold and silver because I had enough money. And back then I didn't really understand the fact that one Pokemon game and the other Pokemon game are technically the same games. But each game has different Pokemon that are exclusive to that card. And... Yeah, you know, that's how I would make friends was through Pokemon and a link cable. Um, and you know, we did this for years, and then the cards finally came out in the movie. I remember we hopping in line to see the movie because I wanted to get that ancient Mew card. I, th I think that was for the first movie. I could be wrong. I know there was a lot of promos, and the ancient Mew was the one card. It was like the golden... Uh, yeah, it, it was just this awesome card that everybody wanted. It was fabled. Everyone was like, that is the rarest card on earth. Now we're going to be able to get this card. And, you know, I went to the movie, got my card, and everybody else has this card, so it wasn't really special anymore. But I was brought into Pokemon through making friends. Originally, that's what it was. And after my cards got stolen, and everybody started going away from Pokemon. That's when I kind of quit. I didn't touch Pokemon again, really, until I was, like, personally, like, for a long time, at a long-term level, was two years ago. But I started collecting Pokemon cards back in May. You know, I, I kept on watching Max Mofo. Then I ran into Leon Hard. Then I ran into Real Breaking Nate. Uh, then there's a few other ones I ran into. Neon Cactus, um... Real Big Jake, I think, is that his name? Real Big Jake. Twice Big Jake. Real Big Jake makes him sound like, well, Twice Big Jake sounds like he's a stoner, but I, he might be. I don't know. I don't know. But originally, Pokemon was a way for me to make friends. I was kind of a loser. 
Still am. Still am. Sorry, guys. I, I'm hard on myself. I can't help it. It goes with the territory. My fiance, if she hears me saying this in this video, she's going to kill me. Actually, she, she won't kill me. She, she'll probably tell me you're not a loser. I do this to myself all the time. I put myself down way too hard. But, you know, I, I, I got into Pokemon. I started buying the cards. At first, you know, I didn't know what I was getting into because I haven't played Pokemon games and since, you know, back in middle school. I didn't know what was new, what was good. And, you know, I was getting these new Pokemon cards and there's like EX, GX, V, V Maxes. It's like, what the hell is all of this? I don't know what, what this is. And this is about the time Sword and Shield came out. Um, I had, I, I was really excited because I got the Switch and Switch, they announced, let's go Eevee and let's go Pikachu. And it was a full remake of Pokemon Yellow. And I was excited. I was like, man, I get to go back where I started with red and blue. I never played yellow, but I know yellow was like the same as red and blue. It's just, you, you had Pikachu following you around and all that stuff. I think, I don't know. I never played through it. The only thing I've played close to that as the new Let's Go Evening, Let's Go Pikachu. So that was a thing for me that got me kind of started. I started getting diving into the game. I was pretty happy. Um, as a person that has mental health issues, constantly you know, I put myself down, I'm constantly worried, anxiety's killing me. Like, but I'd, I'd hop into this world of Pokemon at a man of 33 years old that hasn't done this since I was maybe 12, 14 years old, hopping in this game, this world, catching, you know, Pokemon that I knew from, you know, at a younger age, I, I knew it was all nostalgic, it was like a nostalgic trip. And I couldn't get enough of it, couldn't get enough. And then they announced, so uh, not so, but Sword and Shield, and I was even more excited. I was like, "Fuck, dude! There's more coming. There's more Pokemon stuff coming, and I want to get into it." So I started getting the cards. I was like, "Man, I yeah, okay, let's go ahead and get it." And it took me a while to get used to the new cards, like the GXs and the EXs and the VMAX. I'm still trying to learn it, and I I've, I've been going through like libraries and stuff, taking a look at past sets. I'm like, man. These are cards that I missed the whole time. It's like, I want to get all these cards. And, you know, I can't I can't afford them all, obviously. But I've been buying singles and I've been opening, doing unboxings and stuff. That's kind of helped. But for, for me, Pokemon has become a, a release. A way for me to not worry about things uh, all the time. I know it's kind of unhealthy in terms of monetary because just face it it's expensive it's an expensive hobby for some odd reason it makes me happy you know there's there's only there's a few things that make me happy in this world it's my fiance my family and my friends those make me happier than anything but lately pokemon has been this new thing that just made me feel so happy like you know, I open up a pack of cards, and I know you're going to say, well, that's technically gambling. And yes, you're not wrong. It is technically grant gambling. Uh, and I, you know, as somebody that's advocated against um, microtransactions and loot boxes and video games, this is technically like that. But at least you get something. But that could be said about loot boxes, because... Sometimes you get something, even though it might be junk, and you you know you force yourself to buy more and more of these loot boxes and shit like that. And I guess it's the real world equivalent. But I have fun doing. It. I have. I feel like I have no issue with that. And the world, and like as a real tangible object, I, I feel like this is good for me. You know. There's times, you know, I open packs. I'm like, damn, I didn't get anything. I'm so bummed out. And there's days where I don't even want to mess with Pokemon because of my anxiety and my depression is just, like, so bad. But usually I will get back into it. I, one of the things I catch myself doing all the time is I'll get in my binders and I'll just go through the pages and be like, well, that's cool. I didn't realize I had this card. I'll study the cards. Or I'll hop on TCG Player, eBay, 
um, card taku and a lot of stuff trying to study out the new sets that are coming out the big cards that are coming that I want that nobody else is going to have except for me I want these cards and obviously other people will get them and one thing that's been bugging me at bumming at me out I'm sorry I'm stuttering I do this a lot I get nervous when I make videos and I'm sorry <laughs> and I apologize a lot I do and that's a problem I, I try to fix that problem but I can't it's it's a part of me I apologize for everything but the thing that's been bugging me and this has been on everybody that's into Pokemon right now is the current uh, focus on price it's no longer about collecting or enjoying the game it's all about oh, I wonder how much money I can make well can I flip these cards and make more money can I go out and buy all buy out all of Walmart stock, my local game stores? Oh, is my local game stores, are they going to start charging three times the price for a single pack? And it's it's a lot to do with greed. And I, I'm, I'm just one person that is saying the same thing that everybody else is saying. And it's kind of bummed me out quite a bit because I can't go anywhere. Like, I can go, usually, I, my local game store they you know they're really good once they get stuff they'll post and be like we we got this stuff and uh it's on facebook and you just head over there grab your stuff and you know <laughs> i'm sorry but uh anyways they, they they let you know that they have stuff for you and they don't hold it it's just something you know i go and i can get stuff occasionally before the scalpers get there but the good thing about my lgs is they don't uh, work with scalpers. They don't allow that shit. It's just one of those things they don't do. It's usually one item per uh, one item per customer, and that makes it fair. That makes it fair. And I, I, I kind of wish all LGS has done this, but that some of them don't. A lot of them are like, well, eBay is charging one hundred and fifty dollars for this case of well, this EBT of Shining Fates or Hidden Fates. I'm gonna go ahead and charge that. For a product which retails fifty dollars or sixty dollars, give or take. Now I understand raising the price up maybe five or ten dollars more. You, you you have to make money if you're a shop. But a lot of them are doing it now. With, it's greed. You can't afford that. Like, and a lot of them do go out to uh, like other sh stores like Walmart, Target, and they'll buy them out and sell them at their own shops for a huge amount of money. But luckily, one of the things my local Walmart's been doing, they're only allowing one item per, per customer. It's got so bad that they're only limiting one item trading card-wise per customer. And that's sports cards and Pokemon. Now, Magic the Gathering is fine. Uh, apparently, Dragon Ball Z is having a rough time. And I think Flesh and Blood, and there's a few other ones. I, I don't know how bad. I, I always see Magic the Gathering on the shelf. I never, there's never a time I don't see that. Magic's a bigger game uh, in terms of, well, there's not really much collectability with Magic compared to Pokemon. There's more people that collect Pokemon that actually plays the game. And that's why Pokemon's at a, I can't think of the word. There, uh, there's a situation where Pokemon is, they have that advantage. Um, you take away the players, you still have the collectors. Magic, you take away the players, you take away the game, basically. And I could be wrong, and I can have a lot of Magic the Gathering players come in, like, you're wrong. Out of my experience, that's what it's been. And, you know, I go to my local game store, I never see Magic the Gathering out of stock. Now, you know, maybe once the set first set comes out, you know, you have all these initial players buying their booster boxes, buying some packs, but a lot of them buy singles. And that's what I've been doing with Pokemon. I've been buying a lot of singles because, uh, you know, a lot of these sets are out of print and you can't go to the store. You can't buy stuff anymore. Like, it's hard. I mean, right now, you'll be lucky to get a booster pack of um, Steam Siege or... Well, usually you get a three pack that contains Siege, Steam Siege, Crimson Invasion, and now uh, Battle Styles, which I think Battle Styles is a cool set. 
Don't get me wrong. It's not a bad set. It's not the best set, but it's not a bad set. It's got some really cool cards, just mainly the alternate art. But there's just this mentality that Pokemon is going to make you rich. It's going to make you super rich. Uh, and that's why you have all these scalpers come in and they're like, I'm going to buy everything. And that's why I've been, you know, I've been kind of stressed out a lot lately because, you know, I'm not opening product, but you can kind of think that you're addicted, Derek. You're in, you're addicted to this game. That's not healthy. But I'm not spending all my money on the game. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm no longer getting joy out of the game because of all this stuff. Like a lot of these content creators, these scalpers are making me question why why am I how am I even back into this again? Why why should I do this again? Like I don't need cardboard to make me happy, but for some odd reason it does. Uh it's on my mind a lot. Like I you know, I talk about Pokemon all the time. It, you know, video games used to be that thing for me, and still video games are still mean a lot to me. So don't get me wrong. You're, you're talking to a guy that has video game tattoos. I have Pokemon tattoos. I have all kinds of nerdy tattoos. And I have, you know, memorabilia from video games and uh, <laughs> TV shows all over my walls. And, you know, Pokemon has been the big thing for me, though. Like, this last couple of years, Pokemon has been, like, the biggest thing for me as of late. And it's mainly because it helps me out mentally. It makes me feel happy. And I'm just wondering, those who also have these problems like anxiety and depression, I'm wondering if it helps you too. Like, what's the reason behind you joining the hobby? Why? And does it help you? And, I, and that's, my thing is, yes, it helps me immensely. It does. It really does. I love this hobby. I I wish that I never left it. I, I feel like I missed out on a lot of things. You know, I see all these old sets. I'm like, man, I could have, you know, I could have invested in some of this. Uh, and I would have had a really cool-ass collection. And I'm building my collection slowly. But there's some cards that's going to be obtainable. Unattainable. I'll never be able to get them because they're expensive. Unless I become a millionaire. Which that's not going to happen unless my YouTube channel decides to blow up overnight, which it's never going to happen. That's just me being uh, extremely optimistic, and that's my depression and anxiety talking. Now, it's a possibility that this video would be like, oh, you are going to be a really big YouTube channel and stuff. Probably not. Probably not. And the realm of things, most likely not. Most likely not. But I just want to know, what, does it make you guys feel good? Like, what hobby ma makes you feel as good? Like, what makes you feel happy? What kind of thing do you do, like, hobby-wise, that makes you this happy? Like, Pokemon literally makes me super happy. You know, I, I, I can't emphasize, emphasize, like, how much I love this hobby. Like, I'm glad I'm back into it. And I... No, I bugged the shit out of people. It's, they may think I'm obsessed with it, but it literally makes it takes my mind off things, all all the mundane things that's going on in my life. Like I can literally use Pokemon as a way to relax, reset, and just hide away from everything else. Whatever the hell else is bugging me, I don't have to worry about it because I. You know, I have this new hobby that's just, I'm enamored with it. It's its crazy. It's really crazy. And I've, you know, like I said, video games used to be that for me. And I still play a lot of video games. Don't get me wrong. I don't play them as much as I used to, but I still play. The Pokemon's have just been constantly, like on, on my Twitch channel, I stream constantly Pokemon games. That's all I've been doing. And I know it's driving some people crazy, especially with this uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, which is killing me right now because I can't beat the final uh, dungeon. It's like, I can't do it. <laughs> I've tried. I've been trying like the last week and last night to try to stream and I couldn't stream because I was having technical issues. And it, you know, that was definitely, that's that's one thing has been really hurt me too is because I, I really want to make my stream and YouTube channel work out real well. I really want that to happen. 
but there's a chance that it may not because I'm having all these problems, but I promise once uh, things take off and once I'm in a better spot financially, the stream will get better, the YouTube channel will get better. I want to make sure that this is your channel more than it is mine, but this is also another way for me to release. I don't want to be, I don't want to go back to a mental institution or anything like that. I don't want to go back to a mental wing of a hospital. I don't want to be in the ICU with a uh, tube down my throat. Like, I, I don't want to think bad anymore. Like, you know, there's a, like I said, there's things that make me happy, like my friends, my family, my fiance, and Pokemon's just been one of these really, it's super important to me. It really is. It's, it's, it's probably stupid and unhealthy, but to me, it's not. It's not. It's, it's a relief. <laughs> It, it it is it's it's my it's like a vacation for me it's like oh i here we go i don't have, i'm not worried about this i'm worried about what card am i going to get next i i know it sounds bad but i would like to know you know what does that for you guys am i wrong for thinking this way is is it really something i should really be concentrating on is it healthy? How long have you guys been in Pokemon? Have you guys taken a break from it? Come back to it? Or are you guys thinking about it? If I was you and you was thinking about it, I would say jump on in. Have fun. There's a lot of content creators out there that you know, they enjoy the hobby. Now there are some content creators that are just, just doing it for money for the wrong reasons. And you know who those are. You know who those people are. I'm not, I'm not here to say any names and keep things out. I'm just saying, yeah, they exist. They do. They really do. But that's where I want to leave this video at. I hope you guys, I, I, I'm sorry I rambled. I do that a lot. I do that a lot. I ramble and I'll get, I'll get sidetracked. And I'm like, fuck, dude, where, where, where am I going? <laughs> Where am I going with this? But yeah, like, I just want to know what you guys think. Do you guys like Pokemon a lot? Like, does it help you mentally? I think there's a really good correlation between mental health and hobbies. And for me, mental health has been a whole lot better since I started messing with Pokemon. I guess that's the moral to the story. Pokemon has helped me mentally and has helped me look at things differently but other than that guys thank you so much for hanging out with us uh, if you haven't already feel free to hit that subscribe button hit that follow button we're on twitch usually monday through thursday from 8 p.m to 10 or to 11 uh at twitch.tv forward slash bits and pieces pt and you know we're trying to hit 500 followers that way we can get uh give away a free pokemon elite trainer box that's something I really want to do. I really want to hit these numbers, especially by my birthday. My birthday is in May, May 22nd, and I'd love to hit 500 followers by then. But I really want to know what you guys think. That's what I want to know. What do you guys think of everything? Does Pokemon help you guys, like, mentally better suffer from severe bipolar depression? I, that's what I want to know in the comments. But all right, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon.